got a front row seat here at a game between the Yokohama Whales and the Hiroshima Carts. Now, the guy you see that looks like Gulliver among the Lilliputians is Peter Lecoq, who formerly played with the Kansas City Royals before signing with the Whales. You might like to know that Pete gets a staggering $400,000 a year to play on one of the 12 teams in Japan. Now I'm married, I've got two kids now, and I've played baseball in the States for 12 years, and uh, you've got you've to realize that uh, there's good money here in Japan, and uh, I took advantage of it. It's definitely a different game over here. Here in Japan, I really believe that they cater more to the pitching. Uh, there's a wider plate, a much wider strike zone. Uh, they've got a pitch that they call a shuto here, is a very famous pitch in Japan. It's like a, a, a sinking fastball and a fork ball. They throw a lot of fork balls and a curve ball and three times the curve ball. Curve ball, curve ball, curve ball. I mean, it's, it's, it's impossible. It's like it's Sandy Koufax out there, every one of them. You gotta realize the umpires here are very different. I've seen managers come out and physically grab umpires, knock them down, hit them. If you'd hit an umpire in the United States, you would never play baseball again. The whole game here in Japan, they blow whistles, they chant on every play, every player. Uh, they have big flags that they wave, individual flags of each team, and they have their own cheering sections, and they have streamers they throw all the time. You know, when something happens good, they throw a bunch of streamers on the field. They go out there and try to please the fans. I mean, that is their main objective. Winning and losing is, you know, it's, it's great to win, but if you play a good game and, and entertain the fans, I think that's another important thing here in Japan. It's happened a couple of times where balls have come up, and uh, I, I'm, I'm standing under them going, I got it, I got it. And then this guy is yelling something, and I don't know what it is. And I move out of the way, and he, he, he said he was calling me. Well, I said, you know, I try to tell him, either say my name, you know, or, or you know, let me know. An American playing on a Japanese baseball team has a lot of obstacles to overcome, especially the language. But in any language, there's still only one thing you have to know, and that's how to play ball. This is Alana Davis at the Yokohama Stadium watching Japanese baseball because you asked for it.